Hello, fifth graders. Today, I want to talk to you about making spreadsheets. Now, we've done a lot of work with spreadsheets over the course of the year, but being able to make a spreadsheet is an incredibly important skill. So we're going to practice it one more time. Um, what I've got here for you is some data that uh, you guys very very nicely uh, filled out for me. I was really, really touched actually with how nice you guys ended up being on this. Um, so we have a question that on the, the survey, which was, how awesome is Mr. Buto? And amazingly, I can't believe it, you guys picked um, a couple of different responses. So if I look at this, I'm actually, I see on this, I see the most ever. I see on a scale of 1 to 10, he's a 957.36312. Uh, I see completely and if I'm looking and I'm scanning around, I'm not seeing, let's see. So I saw most ever scale one to 10 completely. I don't see any others. So I got those three responses, which are all wonderful and make me feel great. So thank you again, fifth graders, for those great responses. Now, I've got these broken down into two colors. Uh, the green color is for the boys and the yellow color is for the girls. So this person was a boy who wrote down that I'm the most ever awesome. And this is a girl who wrote down that I am completely awesome. Um, so I, what I wanna do is build a spreadsheet table that organizes this data by response and by the gender of the students. So a column for boys and a column for girls. So I'm gonna move over, I'm gonna make my table first and then I'm going to count the responses. So I'm gonna slide a little bit over here and I'm gonna make my table in, uh, in this space over here. Now, in order to do that, I want a little bit of a buffer. So I'm gonna actually make this column C a little bit narrower. So I'm gonna just grab the space up at the top and just narrow my column. Um, first, you have to highlight the whole column, and then you can drag the, the, the line a little smaller. So I'm looking at this blank space now. This is where I'm going to build my table, right in here. Now, I have three responses and two genders. So I'm going to make my columns for my genders first. So I'm going to put the first one right here, and I'm going to type down on the bottom here. I'm going to type girl because I have a column for girls, and I'm going to type boy because I have a column for boys. So I've got those two columns built. Now I'm gonna build rows for each of my response choices because in uh, when we're making a table, we have columns for the categories and then we have um, rows for the responses. So I have a couple of responses. Um, I have the most ever. I'm gonna write that in the bottom here. The most, oops, I guess I didn't capitalize it most ever I have completely and I have on a scale of 1 through 10 he's a very large number. Gosh, you guys, you know, it really touches my heart that you think I'm so great. Thanks so much for all the great responses. Okay, there we go. Now, if looking at this, I can see right here um, a couple of things. First, I see that this one is too big. It's going to actually run over two different ones. So I want to fix that to right away so that I don't have it. Because if I actually write down a number in this cell right here, say I have four of those, um, it's going to... It's going to blank out, as you can see, everything in column D from there. So what I want column D here to do is actually just wrap itself around. And in order to do that, I need to go up to this button here that has the A on it. That's my formatting. So I'm going to format, I have two options, formatting the text and formatting the cell. Well, I'm not interested in formatting the text. That's what's in the cell. In the cell. I, what I want to actually do is format the cell itself, what it does. And if you look down, the third thing down here is a, is a, a item called wrap text. And what that does is when I turn it on, notice now it's got two lines. It just wrapped it, it went up to the edge and then it came itself, brought itself down into a new line, but it's all in that same cell. So that's what I wanna do there. That's called wrapping text. And it's a very important skill when it comes to making spreadsheets. So now I'm not gonna cover up any data get rid of my four here because I don't actually know how much that is. Um, I'm not going to get rid of my data by having that, uh, putting something in there because that other text, this text wraps itself around. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is count the results that I have in each of these. Okay, so let's start with girls on the most ever. So girls were yellow. Um, so I'm going to count the girl most ever. So if I look through here, I see this one, I see this one, I don't see any other. So I've got two of those. Two. I'm going to put my two there. Now I'm going to cross them out. Okay, I'm going to show you a neat trick for crossing them out. Up in the right-hand corner, I've got three different letters. B, I, and S. B, that's bold. It makes it stronger. I, that's italics. It kind of slants it over. makes it look special. And there's S with a line through it. And that's actually called strike through. And what that does is just crosses something out. So that way I know, okay, got it. I've taken care of that, those choices. So I'm going to strike through those two just to know that I've got my two. Now I'm looking for girls who said I'm completely awesome, and I count one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna actually strike through as I go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, all right, so gosh, you guys are really nice. Five of you thought I'm completely awesome, that's really cool. Um, all right, five, done. And the last choice is on a scale of 1 to 10. He's a 957.36312. Um, so again, I'm counting girls, yellow ones that do that. So I'm going to strike through again. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have four of those. All right. Four. And so those are all my girls. Two girls thought I'm the most ever, five girls thought I'm completely awesome, and four girls thought that on a scale of 1 to 10, he's a 957.36312. Uh, for a total of 11 girls, which I think is slightly short for our group, so I don't. I think maybe a girl or two didn't vote. Um, Audrey, I'm looking at you. All right, boys now. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to count and start with the most ever. So I've got one here, two here, and that's it. Two there as well. Two. Good. And now the next one is completely one I see there. One. Good. Okay. And now I'm going to look at on a scale of 1 to 10. He's a 957.36312. So there's one there. Two there. Three there, four, oops, wrong button, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Wow, guys, thanks. All right, as I go through that, I noticed something, and this is why crossing them off is really important, because I wouldn't have caught this if I hadn't crossed them off. Um, I seem to have missed a most ever in there from a boy, this one right here. I skipped it when I ran through because I didn't see it, but as I crossed things off, I was left with one option left that I hadn't crossed off, which means I missed it, and I'm going to double check. One, two, in fact, three. What do you know? I did miss it. So I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to modify my number. I'm going to change that from a two to a three. Good. Um, all right, so now I've got all of the data into my table. Um, what I don't have, though, is a very nice looking um, table. It could look nicer than this. So the, we're going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to drag over here, and I'm going to look at this and see. No, that's not what I want. I think actually what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make these into a nice color. So maybe, um, I don't know, how about dark blue? Oops, that's the text color. So let's make the fill color dark blue. Um, but that means I'm going to need to change the text color. Now I could have it black, but that's kind of hard to see. So I'm actually going to make my text color white so that it balances out. And then I'll make this match. Again, paying attention to the fill color. Good, but again, still too dark. So I'm going to change the text color to white. Oops, wrong. Ah, see, I didn't change the top up there. There we go. Now I have nice there. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, you can do other things too, like you could put a border on it, like this. I could make this into, make this, um, fill that with 
black, and then I can actually take the whole column and make it really narrow like that. Oops, like... Oh, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe this is a computer thing, not a... All right. Never mind. Yeah, I guess this isn't going to work. I can do this on the computer. I'm having a harder time doing it on the... Um... There we go. I can do that. So now I can fill in... I can tap it, there we go, and make that black. And now I get a little bit of a border around the outside, like that. Uh, that's something you can do. It looks okay, but it doesn't look great. But mostly what I want you to make do is make sure that you're counting all of the options that are in here, making a column for girls, a column for boys, and a row for each of the choices, and categorizing each of your things so that we can see the data spread out. So it turns out boys think on a scale of 1 to 10. They think more of them think that I'm a, uh, I'm a 957.36312. Um, and girls, apparently you think that I am completely awesome. More of you think that than, uh, than the boys do. So again, thanks for that. All right. So as you go through this, I want you, what I want you to do is I want you to make this spreadsheet just like this. And then you can zoom in on it. Take a screenshot and then submit your screenshot into the work informative so that I can double check your work. Good luck.